What's up everyone, welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, we're gonna go over my scrinch tool. Uh, some people had asked about it when it came to the loggers kit. I'm gonna show you exactly how I made it. Um, just a simple breakdown. Uh, I, I guess not, because I wanna buy a new one and I'm going to do it all over again and show you guys on camera. So I'm gonna go buy a new one and we're gonna get into it, so stay tuned. All right guys, so in order to make this scrinch tool, um, this is real simple. I used a cotter pin. Um, if you don't know what a cotter pin looks like, um, it looks like this. So you can get these in the specialty drawers at Lowe's. Um, I just went and got a 3 16 This is a 3 16 by inch and three quarter long. Uh, pretty easy to read right there. Uh, find it in the specialty drawers. They don't have it out on the shelf. Um, you can get all kinds of different clasps. This clasp I got from uh, Ace Hardware or maybe a Do It Your Best or Do It Best Hardware. Um, this has like a little spring thing. I found this uh, pretty darn easy to put over an eyelet uh, or, or put on your belt loop or your logger's belt, whatever you're using. Uh, it, it was pretty easy. So the, you can basically do whatever you want to do uh, with the clasp. Um, this is a swivel, so it swivels around like these. Um, what I went ahead and got today was a swivel, uh, a swivel ball or a bolt snap. Uh, so, you know, you pull down on the little guy and, uh, you know, it allows you to clip it on things. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. I'm going to show you exactly how I did this. <clears throat> As promised, I went and got another chainsaw wrench. So um, you can use any chainsaw wrench you want. It didn't really matter on what it is. Um, I bought this one brand new. Uh, it wasn't more than a couple bucks. I think this is like four or five bucks. So um, don't worry about screwing these things up. Um, these things are a dime a dozen and uh, pretty easy. So uh, this is a still one. Um, I almost went in tractor supply and got a Husqvarna one and then I was like oh wait we have a steel dealership in town so by all means I'm going to go over and get a steel one so uh, what we're going to do is drill a hole in the top just like I did on this one you drill a hole in the top we're going to cut down the cotter pin um, and then I'm going to show you exactly how you put it in there and get it into place so let's move the camera angle I'll show you let's drill the hole and then uh, we will cut the cotter pin let's make it happen Now that we've got our hole drilled, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to cut our cotter pin. So I'll show you how I do that. <clears throat> Obviously take this cotter pin out of the package. All right, so as you can see here, we want it just big enough so that it goes in here and it has a little bit of room to wobble around in. You don't want it super tight, but you don't want it super floppy. Um, I put it about this. Um, about this big around so that this thing can flop around in here so that we can open it up. So what we gotta do, obviously this only goes in far enough here. Okay, what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to cut this cotter pin down. All right guys, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this cotter pin down. Obviously an inch and three quarter does not allow you to go in here like this. And you're not gonna bend this all the way out so that inside this you know, it, it's it's not possible. So <clears throat> I've had good luck with cutting these down with some diagonal cutters in the past. We're going to see if we can make it happen again. Um, it takes a little bit of force, but you can cut them and down like that. Just watch for your other one, your other piece flying. That just went under the refrigerator, so I'll be right back. All right, so of course that would go under the refrigerator and I'd have to move it to get to it. So I've already cut half of the half of the cotter pin off. What you wanna do is you wanna stagger the next side. So the next side you wanna be able to stagger it about in here. So we're gonna hold on to it this time while I cut it. 
okay? Piece of cake. Now I've cut the cotter pin. You need a little bit of excess on one side. So what we're going to do is we're gonna stick this cotter pin down in here like, like so, and then down into the middle of it, you see where I've staggered it now. Now we can turn it like this, and we can hit it with a uh, flathead screwdriver and widen it out. So as simple as that. So first, let's put on our, um, our little bolt clasp, and then let's go ahead and put it in the scrunch tool. So the bolt clasp, just like this, this is gonna be a little bit difficult to do. Um, what I always do is I'll take my diagonal cutters, and I will open up this cotter key. So see, I use it like that, and I use it to open up the cotter key. All right, so, or cotter pin, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, once you get it open a little bit, it's kind of just like a keychain. Um, you need to just force it on here. So sometimes they're a pain in the butt, sometimes they're easy. This one doesn't feel like it's gonna be easy, so I'll just take a pair of channel locks and drop one piece. And we're back. Okay, so I've got a pair of channel locks here. I'm gonna go ahead and push this. Ah, I'm gonna drop it again. It's such a pain to try to do this on camera um, and try to make it, you know, so that you can see exactly what I'm trying to do here. But we're going to force that down in the throat of this cotter pin. We're almost there, almost there. Okay, come on, baby. One more time. All right, okay, cool. So see, now we've got the cotter pin around the swivel. So obviously it keeps swiveling. So now what we wanna do is shut this back up, just like so, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop it down in here, drop it down in our hole. That's ultimately what we're going for right there. And then what we're going to do is, like I said before, we're gonna take a flathead screwdriver and open this up inside of it. So we'll put it back in our vise. <clears throat> All right, now you should be able to, you should be able to just take a flathead screwdriver and shove it down in through here, and you should be able to open it up by hand. So sometimes I just give it a tap with the end of my hand and open it up, and then you'll come around the other side and you'll open up the other side. So now I've got it spread apart enough that it's not going anywhere. All right, I've got it spread apart enough that this is not gonna come out. So what you want is the ability for this to actually come out of here if you snag it on something. Let's say you have this clipped onto your belt, uh, your logger's belt or your belt loop. All right, you want this cotter pin to slide out of here before it rips your belt loop or rips your, uh, you know, your clasp or whatever you got it buckled to, you gotta make sure that it rips the cotter pin out of here before. So that's why I don't turn this all the way, but I open it enough, I open it enough that it's not gonna come out. You see what I'm saying? Piece of cake. So now I, uh, I basically mask off this and paint it a, a, a nice bright color. I chose this awesome green, so, uh, I think it's called Alien Green or something like that by uh, Fusion. It's a paint and primer all in one. It holds up pretty well. I mean, you can see I've used it in the woods a lot and really been holding up just fine. So that's how you make the scrunch tool. Pretty, pretty easy. Not a big pain in the butt. There it is. All right, guys. Well, that wraps up the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found content or... I hope you found value in my content. And uh, as always, please click that subscribe button if you'd like to stick around the channel. If you're one of those loyal subscribers and you've been here and following the channel along, you know what time it is. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. And we'll see you guys in the next video.